Hello everyone, back again for another video, but this time it's a bit different, because this time, like it says in the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a combination between the fire mech here and the green ninja mech here. Now excuse all of the figures here. They're just for display, except for this guy right here in the middle where my finger's at. Because he will be our, I guess, person to showcase in this combined form. So, let's get started. First, the green ninja mech. What I usually do is... Remove the arms and legs and we put the body off to the side and we're left with these. Now, it's important for you to know that, well, what I usually do every time I want to create this combined form is that I usually tear apart the arms and legs and this will become relevant when we do the full combination. Also if you can guess where these mechs came from in the comments below That would be ironically hilarious. Now we're almost done with taking apart the legs. Then we'll get to what you have to do for the other mech here in just a sec. Now with all of this separated, let's go ahead and put that off to the side for now and bring out our fire mech here. So here's how to work it. First you gotta remove the shells right here. and put them off to the side for now next what I usually do is move the golden arm blades up a peg And then to top it off, I remove the discs here. Next, come down to here and remove the um, basically the control panel in a way. Also don't worry about why there is a flower piece there. Anyways, moving on. Next we go down to the feet and strip it of all the parts except for just this piece right here because this full combination requires the feet 
to be stripped down to little stubs, in a way. Now that you have it like this, well, we can put it off to the side and come back to these pieces. Now, what you're going to do for these is quite simple. First, you're going to separate them into their respective arm and leg parts. Now ignore the fact that I haven't talked for a few minutes. But once you get it all separated to where you have the arms and the legs of the green ninja mech, you're going to want to come over to this mech and if I can remember the combination instructions that I didn't really make in person first it was this And then it went like that. And then I think I had it, the swords like this. If I remember correctly. Yeah, I think that's correct. And then I did that. And then topped it off like that. Now for the other side, what I did is that and then Um, I did that, and then I followed it up with that. that and that to make kind of a uh, cannon of sorts. Now 
Now we go to the... legs and this will actually require some of these parts so the first step is to do that And then, if I can remember correctly... Yeah, I think... That wasn't the right combination. Mm -hmm. I remember now. You gotta do that. On either side. Followed by that, um, and then reattach the toes on either side. And then shoot, I just realized I made a mistake here. And then for the back Let's go ahead and do that. Sorry about that. And then after you've done that, The next step, if I remember correctly, no, it wasn't that. I had it to where it was like that. Yeah. And then... It'll just attach right to the back. Now this does limit the movement in the feet, but eh, who cares? Yeah. 
Moving on to the front now. We're going to give it some stability. So that it can stand up properly. And then that just leaves all of those pieces. But we'll get to those here eventually. Because next we come to this piece. And what I like to do is just simply attach it onward with no real problems. To make it look like a Megazord, in a way. So that just leaves these pieces here, along with this. For this, it's going to go right on top here, and it just rests there. For the back, we're going to give him shoulder pads, per se. And there we're close to being done because next I'm going to give him a pair of back thrusters. Well, not really, but you know. And then we're almost complete. And we're done. Whoops. Dropped my phone there. <sighs> there. And now we can get our little supporter for this video now you can use any minifigure for this 
but it's just a concept in mind. And it'll just neatly sit right in there with no troubles whatsoever. Anyways, that's it for this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss any videos, and leave a comment down below if you want to see more of my amazing creations that I've created between the pre-COVID events and during COVID events. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.